Hey guys, I kind of want to make fun of myself because for the life of me, I've been trying to create this progress bar in Figma and I just couldn't figure it out. I recently just made a transition from using Photoshop and Illustrator to Figma. So it was difficult for me to create this simple progress bar and I'm going to show you how to cut into shapes and how to create progress bar like this in case you're also new to Figma. So the first thing we're going to do is you want to get your shapes out, right? Like this, this rectangle. Then you want to go into the, the, the shape section, then get the ellipse tool and basically draw your shape. Make sure you're holding on to, to the shift. Okay, when you hold on to the shift like this, then let's place your circle in place. And also you want to copy this, then place it so that we fit it right into the circle and just basically, hold on. I'm still getting used to it, but hold on, hold on to the Alt and the Shift at the same time. Then, yeah, just zoom it in. Oh, excuse me. Hold on to the Alt and the Shift at the same time. Then once you zoom it in like this, make sure you don't let go of your, your, your mouse. Let go of your mouse first before you let go of the keyboard like this. Okay. Now, the way I would normally do it in Illustrator is to, if I want to cut into this to create something like this, in Illustrator, what I would just do is I would just go into the line tool, draw a line above it like this right then I would select everything like so and I will use the the tool in, in the menu the, the knife tool to to cut into this or I will use the shape shape builder to to cut into this right and that will be easy as that but in Figma I spent the last 30 minutes looking for the shape builder tool but I just couldn't find it so instead of that there's a easy tool that you need to discover in Figma to do just this. And it's so easy. I felt really stupid when I found out. So what we're going to do is let's take away the, the line tool. Let's just delete that. And to do this, all you basically have to do is you see this arc tool here, this arc tool. It's, it's an incredible tool. All you need to do is just drag this arc tool to wherever you want your shape to start or end like this, you see? guys can you see it's absolutely amazing i couldn't figure it out but eventually i did and i and i was i felt so stupid because it's so easy and actually it's way better than the photoshop too okay so now with this bigger tool as well all you need to do is drag the arc to where you want your shape to start and begin as you can see just make sure you drag on the hold on to the mouse and you do that and here you can simply just subtract it and there we go now we have our our big our our, our percentage here and the, the the rest of what we need to do is just you can easily just drag this in there like so and there we go we've got our simple shape and let me give this a color using the eye tool see that's as easy as it gets you see this is so much easier I mean, remember the arc tool is just a circle the little circle inside the the, the the larger circle that's the arc tool and you can use it to create whatever shape that you want and that's so easier to be honest than you know having to draw the line segment let me undo that having to draw the line segments and you know using the shape builder to so guys i hope you've learned something today in this little basic figma video for anyone starting out in figma and thank you very much if you want to learn from my other videos make sure you watch my other videos and you know subscribe for more videos like this thank you so much let's keep learning together thank you and take care bye bye